Okay, hello everyone, Random Gamer Riven here on behalf of Randomized Gaming. And as always, I'm going to be your host for this stream. It is Wednesday, the 18th of November 2020. And in today's stream, I am going to be looking at Pursuit Force, which was released in 2005 on the PlayStation Portable, or the PSP for short. And it was developed by Big Big Studio here in the United Kingdom. And it was published by Sony Computer Entertainment. So this is a first party. So I'm going to... I'll create a new game. I don't know if I've got what. We can lowercase it. Let's just... Now, I have full screened it today as we discovered after doing some checks after yesterday's stream, we did discover it wasn't actually full screen. The actual ratio by default the PSP does put out is actually incorrect. I did some initial additional checks after what one of the guys, Nyko, was saying in the stream. And uh, I investigated further and indeed, as you mentioned, we should check on perfect circles. And it is actually correct. It was not outputting correctly. The PSP it was weirdly put into, I think it puts it into a 4.3 resolution. So you actually get um, a weird... It's basically like 480p 272 or some, some weird resolution within a window. I think it actually outputs it to 480 it's a weird mess of a resolution. It's not the PSP's native resolution. Indeed, right now it's outputting at 525p at 59.94 hertz. So I have full screened it. I've also gone and actually updated the PSP, not the PSP, uh, I've updated the open source scan converter to the latest version, which now has a brand new PSP mode, which is absolutely fantastic which allows you to have full screen video on the PSP. And I would love to show it you, but at the minute I can't get the Elgato to capture it. And I think the only way, so the PSP basically by default when outputting to TVs, it does 480p. As a result, you basically need to throw it into A43 and B, I need to upscale. If you upscale it to two times or even one times, you then start getting 980p. And even with the open source scan converter's new mode, it doesn't quite work correctly. But I will try and see if I can get it to work because it looks lovely without me having to fiddle around or crop anything. So hopefully we might be able to get a workaround. It will have to be some sort of cropping if I can do. So this Pursuit Force was actually sort of action racer. It's actually a really enjoyable game because it reminds me a lot of Chase HQ. So you see they've got career, you've got races, time trials, high score, gallery, development stills and movies. Quite a lot to unlock at the credits I'm guessing. This reminds me a bit of some of those, so although I worked in the industry, I actually joined in about 2006, this is one of those games where the presentation is just slightly lacking. It's a good game, but it just needs a, just a, a bit more quality edge to make it really a truly standout game. I think the premise is all there, it's just the actual execution. So this, this interface is perhaps a touch clumsy and bl bland. You have a sort of generic thing in the background, some fairly uninteresting screenshots and pictures. But without further ado, let's get stuck into the career mode. To recent statistics, the crime rate in Capital State is higher now than even Detroit. Not one, but five notorious gangs are bringing Chief the state. Chief of Police is forming a new division to clean up gang-related crime. Today marks the dawn of a new era in crime fighting. We're starting an elite force that'll root out every low-life, drug-dealing scumbag that works for these gangs. 
We'll be using the latest hardware, prototype weapons, and special tactics to bring them to justice. The gangs of Capital State are officially on notice. Starting today, we're taking back the streets. And what should we call this new initiative? The Pursuit Force. See that we get to pick which of the gangs we get to start off against. We'll go up against the Warlord, the Rogue, Mercenaries as the opening gang. But as you can see, I actually think this is the open... I've actually... So I've upgraded. We were on 8.2A, and I hadn't upgraded since I originally got uh, the open source scan converter. I've now upgraded to 8.8 because that adds in a unique PSP mode and a few other changes. And I think this one might be just a touch better, actually. So see there, you get to take down rank required captain, lieutenant. So we have to pick the various missions, warlords. We're currently an officer, so we need to do this first mission. We've got trouble. Those military psychos, the warlords, have stolen barrels of a toxic nerve agent from the Renata Air Force Base. They're heading to Corsair Bay, where they plan to hold the town for ransom. Capture the vehicles carrying the nerve agent before they reach the coast road. But don't damage the barrels. We don't want public contamination. And as always, guys, if you enjoy the stream, please do hit that like button. It's very much appreciated. But yeah, I think actually updating the firm was slightly improved. It's one of those things I've been meaning to do for a while, but I thought let's get it done now and see how it looks on the open scores. I definitely think it's just a touch improvement, actually. Intercept the warlords. I hope you brought your flak jacket. These army renegades are out for blood. Hi, Nico. Yeah, I was doing lots of testing this morning, actually, so... Uh... But yeah, by default, the TV resolution of the PSP is not correct. Although it is 480p, so unfortunately what that means is that if you scale it up in two times, it becomes uh, 960p, so it doesn't work in 2x scalar. At least not with Elgato, sadly, as the Elgato doesn't support... Basically, it only supports the primary resolutions of like 1080p. 1020 but yes, yeah, so interesting to see the output mode is just not very good for the PSP. But I've been able to get some better... Uh... So yeah, this is actually quite a manic game as you can see. But yeah, I've updated the open source scan converter because the latest one does have a full uh, PSP mode, so you can run PSP games at full screen. And that was a brand new introduction, I think just start of this month, end of last month. So, although I'm not able to use that mode on Elgato at the minute, and I'll have to see if I can adjust the port. Set 
a Sally like you to do a soldier's job. Yeah, no, I think I'm just getting the basic one out of um, the PSP. But having updated the open source scan converter, the new mode it adds in is really nice for PSP. So there we go. Basically, the aim for this one is. trouble with the uh, Elgato which I'm finding is it doesn't support, it doesn't like off resolutions, it only likes sort of 480p, uh, 240p, 720p and 1080p, anything else in the Elgato just tends to have a bit of a wobbly but this is Pursuit Force which is Weirdly, this does not so one. Fire, or we'll have a major contamination on our hands. A couple of these early PSP games don't support analog, and I'm wondering if that was because the PSP at one stage wasn't going to have an analog stick. Oh my god, fine. Ah, you're on an Elgato HD60S. Yeah, I'm on a Pro, so the Pro doesn't actually uh, support the, um, the 240p mode. No, it doesn't support the 4. The only way I was thinking I might be able to get it to work is if I use the drop down. Because it's really nice having it full screen on PSP. It looks really nice as well. Especially because you can get two sample as well, looking very nice. My television, the television I actually use, runs pretty much with every resolution we throw at it. So I can play the games, but I can't capture them, which is irritating. So it's really irritating because I can play everything on the pretty much the highest resolutions, but I can't capture with the Elgato, and it would be nice to capture. So I definitely think at some point, I think Randomized Gaming may have to invest in an alternative capture card as well. Although I don't know if the, what the compatibility is like. Shoot Force is actually a really quite a good game. It's How come for Shoot Force send a Sally like you to do a soldier's job.
So if you like racing, this reminds me a lot of Chase HQ actually, it's a very good quality. I see, yeah, I think the only way I could get the uh, PSP mode, I suspect, would be... It might be because I'm on a Pro a H60 Pro, and the, the Elgato HD60 Pro does not like anything other than non-standard uh, resolution. So the minute you put anything... So if you 2x the PSP in this mode, you get a 960 resolution, and it basically says this is an unsupported resolution. I know there's ways using the port to reduce the resolution, but that means you'd have to heavily crop it. But yeah, don't even interesting, but yeah, I've graded the open source scan converter, so that's, uh, I think, was well needed, because that definitely has added some improvements. I think that's slightly improved the visuals as well. I know it's improved the support for a lot of these uh, older resolutions, so... I think that's got two more trucks to go. Will they crash into everything. Yeah. Case failed again. Right. Yeah, it'd be nice to get 2x mode, although I'm not a big fan of 2x mode on the PSP that much. I hope you brought your black jacket. These army renegades are out for blood. I definitely think upgrading the open source scan converter has definitely improved the quality, so it's definitely improved the resolution slightly. Yeah, the old scale is actually better. We've got for some some PS2 games in the interlacing. But that new PSP mode they've added for the open source scan converter. I think it was this month they did it. Actually, uh, try and speak to some of the guy who develops the open source scan converter just to mention some of the stuff I've seen in the past year of using it. So, yeah, I think this the bit tonight's stream probably looks a touch better than last night's stream, not least because of the open source scan converter upgrade. I think it's definitely a slight upgrade with the. The improvement of the resolutions. It would be nice if I could use the PSP mode. Give it up, warlords. You're under arrest. How come for suit force send a Sally like you to do a soldier's job? Yeah, I used it earlier. It looked, it looked really good. The, the PSP mode. Yeah, that's the one thing I will say with the episode scan cover because it does a lot of unstandard resolution. That's why a lot of the TV seems to support it, but just not the capture unit. And I don't think there's a, a I think every capture unit I've seen, 
the place that we said. It's got some issues. I don't think there's a capture unit you can buy on the market yet that captures everything the open source scan converter does. Okay, enough about the open source, open source scan converter that we used to capture these videos with. Let's talk about Pursuit Force. Pursuit Force is one of those early PSP games I think a lot of people forget about, but it's actually, as you can see, a, a really solid racer, really good looking as well. It, it looks like an early PS2 game. Solid visuals. So I was using a justice shot there where I can jump in the air and shoot. Uh, Pursuit Force is made by a now defunct UK studio called Big Big. Uh, they were in London, I think there were some ex-Codemaster staff as seems to suggest on Wikipedia. But how true that is, I always take a bit. Definitely in London. <laughs> They did a couple of games. They did a sequel to Pursuit Force as well, which is actually uh, very good. I think we've gone past one. Of the and they did a few other games. They didn't. I think they went defunct by 2012. So this is an official Sony game. It's like quite a lot. Strangely, the UK Sony studios have never fared that well. Careful though, because those guys are... Oh, one more to go. I'm probably going to get penalised for not getting an A rank. Micromanix people? Uh, Micro Machines was done by Codemaster. I think this may have had a few ex Codemaster staff as Codemasters largely these days do racing games. I've seen words. Just as a note, tonight's stream will probably be governed by how much battery I've got in the PSP. It's about 46%, so. Um, Yeah, it's an early PS. They did get a sequel called Pursuit Force. I think it's Extreme Justice, the sequel. The quarantine now available in races. You see, there's a huge number. I can do the different, the state's oldest gang. So let's have a quick look at this one as well. Oh, Micromanix. No, I can't say I've heard of that one, I have to admit. The Capelli family. So there's a little nod to the Godfather there. They mentioned they did a couple of games. Um, they're called Big Big Studios, so if you want to look them up. I think they've only done a few games. They may have done... I'm not exactly, I'm not very familiar with them, so I know they did Pursuit Force 1, Pursuit Force 2, and I think they had two other games. More better version of the first one. Yeah, pretty much, you pretty much nailed it spot on there, Nike. Get Leone to the airport. Yeah, get me the hell out of Dodge. The Don wants me pushing up daisies. Put your foot down. 
Don't let that car tail you. Yeah, Capelli sent his good. Okay, so this is a chase stage, so I've got to You've got to put the screws on you, Leone. Yeah, I think the PSP, the early ones. This one, um, it's actually got a pretty decent frame rate, unlike medieval um, resuscitated, which has a pretty terrible frame. First one, more or less. Yeah, there are a few like that. Okay, so uh, a rather <laughs> uncompromising difficulty there. I think the blanks are actually slightly stronger. Get Leone to the airport. Yeah, get me the hell out of Dodge. The Don wants me pushing up daisies. I'm gonna put you in a wooden kimono, Leone. Yeah, a lot of these ones, I'm always surprised a lot of these games didn't get ported to the PS2. So they could have done with an upgrade. Medieval Resuscitation definitely needed a PS2 port. I can't jump to the other vehicles in this one. I can only literally shoot them. Basically just try and avoid them. This section's probably not that well done in the fact that... Every wise guy for himself now. <laughs> I'll send you a postcard from Hawaii. Damn, Leone's plane is about to take off. You got two minutes to get in there. Put the panels as a metal. You call this the Don's finest? Give my best to the Don's sister. Oh, wait, I already did. <laughs> Get 
tired of making peanuts. We're gonna put the screws on you, Leone. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised with a lot of games. I think they got cold feet on the PSP because nothing was selling. You had a weird thing with the PSP console hardware was selling very well, but not the games. Almost at the airport. Stay focused. But really, that's interesting. You've unlocked your locked and locked frame rate on the PS2 version. Yeah, this one. I think this one I need something a bit more sturdy than the base car because this is not getting me to the exit. PS2 is a Maxis there. Let's get that one last shot to do it. Can I change? Get Leone to the airport. Yeah, give me that. Let's check controls. Is there look back, steer horn? Justice. Maybe I can just... I mean, it's weird this one doesn't have analog controls, it's just like the look back. So like you said, yeah, maybe this was originally, uh, the analog wasn't intended. I'm gonna put you in a wooden kimono, Leone. Put your foot down. Don't let that car tail you. Yeah, Capelli sent his goons. We're gonna get that rat over your dead body. You're gonna get it, you lousy snitch. We're gonna put the screws on you, Leone. Revenge is a dish best served cold. Style. I told you guys to lay off the cannolis. Quite nice the fact to shoot out their visors and stuff in this, but I don't even know what to do. that's not good. Yeah, I'll send you a postcard from Hawaii. Every wise guy for himself now. I give my best to the Don system. Oh, wait, I already did. <laughs> You'll make a good hit man. Call me when you get tired of making peanuts. Okay, I've got justice mode, eh? Now we also don't want to hit civilian cars. That stage is irritating. 
return to HQ, give another one a whirl for a bit. You don't get a lot of them. Um... Yeah, it's a pretty good game, Tomb Raider Anniversary, so let's try. I haven't got sergeant rank. Can I get promotion for doing races and things? Let's do a race. Trust the loon race before I, uh, yeah. You, I basically got to use the justice shot in the other stage. It's certainly a bit unforgiving at the start, and the mechanics for like that racing Three, section. Two, one, go. Restart that. Three, two, one, go. Let's live dangerously with some oncoming traffic. Now, do we get any rank ups for doing this, or is that only in to have to do that story? The music's very sort of esque because this game does remind me a lot like they've been inspired by a lot of action films for it. Visually it's actually very good for a PS2 film. The music as you see is quite pump rocking. Controls are pretty decent as well. It's quite good fun. I just think perhaps the difficulty's a bit balanced. Perhaps it needs a bit more balancing so that the start missions are a bit easier and then you just get the harder ones to run. This one I think they've added. it does seem perhaps the difficulty's also hampered by a few of the mechanics. So although in the first race you're jumping on enemy cars and blowing them up on that race, like the second one I can't actually jump out of the vehicle. And my shots do barely any damage. missions yeah <laughs> there are a few games that literally do have literally like the hardest mission right at the start and Halo 2 is infamous for Cairo Station being the hardest mission in the game on Legendary and everything else after that being uh, much easier and I can testify to that I think Cairo Station took us something silly like six hours to do and we breezed through the rest of the game Certainly an interesting stage to use for a tutorial. It's like, oh yeah, we'll give you the hardest stage in the game. I'm impressed. You're really going for it. Oh, you do definitely, when you hit brake, you definitely feel the car slide all over the place. This is definitely more a chase game, as the controls are perhaps a little bit slippery. Oh, I should have taken the shortcut there. Doing. 
One of the interesting gaming news, I know they announced the Open Source Scan Converter Pro a little while back. I wonder if that will be doing 4K resolutions. They they announced it and then they haven't done much on it, so perhaps they should have held off announcing it. But yeah, they're definitely picking up one of them as and when it finally releases. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden as well, actually. Ninja Gaiden 2, I always remember. The early levels where you don't have the power-ups are really hard, um, quite hard, whereas the later stages where you do have all the power-ups were much easier. Ninja Gaiden 2 was really weird. Like, There's a few games that often they are actually more harder at the start, and as you get all the power-ups, get easier and easier. Yeah, it, it, it was announced a while back, but they haven't done anything with it a minute, so I assume they announced it early. But I suppose due to current ongoing world events that I'm not going to say about, um, likely that's put a delay. I must, I'd hope it would do. I know this is going to support um, cold contract. Don Capelli has sent a team of hitmen downriver to assassinate the delegates at the state security conference in Astontown. The super pursuit boat is fueled up and ready to take out Capelli's hitmen. Remember, you're swimming with sharks out there. Yeah, I did look at that 1,000 bullets. It actually looks really good, so I have to try and grab a copy of that. That's one of the few PS, P, PS2 games I've not seen. I, I've not actually ever seen a copy of, strangely. I used to go around London all the time looking at PS. Yeah, the controls per vehicle are definitely a bit... This one, I definitely feel like you've really got to... Yeah, the controls... Yeah, it'd be interesting to know what equipment friendly output means, but if it was able to make it, I'd, it'd be handy if the standard open source scale just allowed you to. Um... This gonna run red with your blood. Isn't it? Come on, jump! Get off the boat! Jump! The weird thing is, if it's not equipment friendly, then uh, you're, mar you're going to have a limited sales market. So it seems like a bit of an odd one. I think they probably wanted to make it... Because when the open source scan converter was initially uh, developed, I, I don't think they necessarily had thought, A, perhaps it was going to do as well as what it was, and also quite how many people were going to use it and for what. I think they probably mainly designed it as a little pet pro I think the, was it Marks the guy who did it mainly probably designed it as a pet project for himself so it didn't necessarily think about all the possible scenarios it works under and he, he had the uh, turning circle for this is terrible these boats Re literally like hold down I feel like I'm breaking my d-pad to turn these things Two bad boats up ahead of me. I mean, the initial open source scan converts did with a very impressive scaler. It's a very, very good to the uh, rather overpriced um, Frame Meister, which has some really weird issues as well. 
considering the prize. You must have got a major death wish, Tom. Ruthless how you just gun down the driver in this. <laughs> it's certainly not um ha! Who's swimming with the fishes now? Those delegates ought to throw you a party. This game is actually the pursuit one. force are pretty ruthless dealing with the criminals, that I will say. At least it is largely lag. I mean, it is lag three. The open source scan converter. So I can't say I've had an issue of. Yeah, that's the problem with the frame meister. And there, there was quite a lot of people championing the frame meister. I think primarily because they paid a fortune for it. But when you actually look into it, um, a lot of the problems the Frame Meister has. For 20 years, I've been trying to take down the Capellans, the most powerful organized crime family in the state. Johnny Leone. All right, let's give this mission a shot. But it's weird, the Frame Meister is so expensive that when I looked into it, I thought, well, hang on. The, the, the amount of flaws that it has, so it, I know it doesn't do certain resolutions. You have to get particular cables for it. I was really surprised with um, how bad it was. I mean, it, it's really hard to get hold of as well. You basically have to go through Solus Japan or you're buying a sec and a few other sort of obscure Japanese vendors. Or you have to go through second-hand purchases on eBay, which you're not guaranteed to get a working unit. Um, you then had to get, by default, the firmware was incredibly out of date in the unit and you had to update it. Literally, I can't jump on cars in this one. I just literally have to race. So this one's pretty merciless with the difficulty of this mission. I've basically got to shoot the cars as quickly, but you get random damage. So this one's actually one of those examples of what I'd say not good games design. Being someone who has a big flair for design myself, so what if, you, if someone was objectively you might be going well it might be your gaming skill and i would explain this as you see here we're getting shot from random enemies that we can't see on screen by holding down so basically you've just got to shoot like a madman you then got to hope the other cars don't get in your way as you're shooting the base weapon you get is so slow at taking down the enemies they can damage you for ages so Unless you literally drive this in. You can't select a particular vehicle when targeting. Yeah, I'll send you a postcard from Hawaii. Damn, Leone's plane is about to take off. This the Dom's finest. Yeah, you mentioned the DVO quite a few times. I've seen quite a few people say it was actually quite a good alternative. But it's actually pretty rare to get hold of these days, I know. It's even uh as there are people saying the DVO was just there are a few sort of scalar devices like that where they had quite limited print runs. So again, I'm getting absolutely Man. 
Call me when you get tired of making peanuts. So now the I'm basically having to rely on when this uh, ability actually. So oh, I just lost my law breaker, so I'm finished. I mean, you'd lots of the the whole rafter of cheap scalers that aren't too bad. Basically, they're sort of generic ones. I actually figured out the one we've got is actually quite interesting because that's actually what most LG TVs actually had inside them. It was basically that scaler, which is quite interesting. Okay, I'm going to again. This way, there's no so I've got throttle break, jump, justice, alternatives. I might try the Eleanor throttle steering. Ah, you can do steering digital. Okay. No, so fire, jump, justice, throttle, change target. Okay, that's a bit better. Well, the analog pad on the PSP isn't great, so me whining about um, the not using analog was just me whining and not checking the controls. But odd, it's not used by default, that I will say. Me whining without looking, which is often the problem a lot of people have, so that was my bad, so to speak. Does indeed support analog. Oh yeah, that feels quite a bit better actually. Although I must admit the PSP's foot analog stick is in a slightly weird place. It's not ideal for your thumbs. So they just come in there and just take do that. Uh, just do the Literally, I think you've got to use civilian cars to take them out. Just have them hit civilian cars and they take damage. Yeah, and you mustn't hit civilian cars. Hawaii. You seem to get to this to bit of about half Put strength. You seem to have bits the where they just Call seem to directly take down your health in this world. Not too doing too bad. Give my best to the Don sister. Oh wait, I already did. <laughs> There are a few games that did support. Uh, it's weird. The PS1, a lot. There were a lot of games that didn't that had sort of weird analog support, as no one had quite figured out the ideal control system. So although they had analog support, a lot of games just didn't use it. Call me when you get tired of making peanuts. You're gonna get it, you lousy snitch. We're gonna put the screws on Or use it very well. From Software are really bad as well because they didn't use analog. The loader they did for ages, their early PS2 games didn't use analog at all because so they didn't know what to do with it, which was really embarrassing. Okay. 
Open, come on, come on. Let me shoot and hope for the best. Friendly fire axe too, yeah. Shoot still and complete my Lord Raker bonus. I need that bonus if I'm gonna... Yeah, anything from software did up till about Armor Core, uh, one of the later Armor Core games doesn't use analog because they just didn't consider it. From software, a bit of a weird company. It was actually a one line. So um, they weren't. They aren't technically the most adept with in terms of actual games design. Hence why they've made a lot of mistakes in their games. I'm actually going to restart see if I can do that a bit without taking damage. I feel like I should have a boost or something. You have got the horn honk, but it's select, so it's probably in the worst possible place. No, that's a really bad start with that damage. You basically, it directly comes in to damage you, that car. And that's basically the one chasing you that you just cannot damage. Yeah, it just gets you can't shoot it and it just does damage on you, so there's nothing you can do. So you automatically take that set amount of damage from the shot that's firing at you. There is nothing you can do to avoid that car. The main objective one, you just gotta outrun it, but the other cars are the ones that just plow into you. This this section's really not been well balanced. Every wise guy for himself now. Just slowing down get there. I think I need to be close to the cars to take them out quickly. To get close and just fire like a maniac at them.
Oh, that actually heals you. Okay. So basically, you have to rely on that healing boost perk. Okay, that's my mistake. Should have used that earlier. The cops also turn up to help me out. But you, the, the per he, it's obviously a healing boost perk because what I suppose is actually people inside that truck. And the reason obviously they had to have a healing boost perk was because you couldn't finish the race without taking too much damage. So sometimes you're the high. I like it better being the dog. You really did a number on those guys. Ha! Good work. Now he'll squeal on the Capellans. I've seen words. Yeah, there's lots of quirks like that with like companies' origins because like Capcom were toy manufacturers, Nintendo was a toy manufacturer. So um... <laughs> now for generates while driving now. Do the convictors. Capcom's name is actually the Capsule Company. That's actually what they're called. Cap and Com, so they're the Capsule Company. Because <laughs> they used to do, like, capture toys. I do like the sort of... The Chief reading out the, um... Mission Brief to you. Apparently the voice files on this are a little bit not as smooth as they could be. They definitely feel a little bit like they're a bit compressed. It's not as clear. I think the audio could be slightly clearer, I think. But also visually from an early PSP game, the actual racing stages look very impressive. Got quite some nice background. It feels like you're racing against it. Like we've got a world map, makes it just some nice some nice sort of as you see there, like it's like a high street. I mean you've got 2D artwork in the background of the uh, sky box, but uh, that's okay. It feels like we're driving down a mountain, so that's what you want. <laughs> yeah. Well, the ra a a oh, the ranks in game, yeah. A lot of games have S ranks as well for like super duper. And then you start getting things like Devil May Cry that get super silly, which have S, double S, and triple S.
kill you. Get your mitts off me. I have to jump on their cars. Protect civilians, okay. This one's this one's a bit weird because they don't like a chase HQ game. You have a weirdness where when you drive past some of the vehicles, it can then be a bit of a pain to catch up with them again. Too many civilians have died due to your incompetence. Hit the road and don't come back. Turn in your badge. Let's try that again. Hunt those gangbangers down. Definitely feels like I've been inspired by films like I think Fast and Furious. Yeah, Fast and Furious was out by. You. Really, some of those corners are physically too tight to turn without breaking to extreme degrees. It's almost like the game wants you to run into some of the barricades. Remember to get my number later. A sawn off. Please. I have grandchildren. Others ahead. I guess the turbo boost in the heel. the way you leap from cars to cars. There are very few games that have actually done mechanics like that. Am I using an... I don't know if it's going to look like I'm using a nail gun or something. It's actually quite a good multi-part stage, actually. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's a bit weird the fact they take so much damage. It seems almost like they've done that to increase the difficulty. Just a shot. In fact, yeah, shotgun like multiple times. It's like, yeah, I'm not sure that's entirely realistic. Now we seem to be running on a race uh, towards what I'll describe as a ski track. Can actually duck on the side, supposedly. Yeah, literally a shotgun. I gave you a snowball chance in hell, but you came through, kid. This is actually a 12 plus in Peggy, so it's um, although you don't see sort of blood or gore, <laughs> surprisingly, I've seen worse. It's surprisingly action-packed, should we say, for a uh, racing game? Would you leaping on cars and shooting the hell out of everyone? <laughs> them to rescue people. Code 3 emergency, hot shot. The convicts are making a run for it along the city canal toward the harbor. I'll bet your paycheck they have a cockamamie scheme to ferry themselves out of state. Keep your wits about you. These cop killers would rather take a dirt nap than do more time. He shoots fireworks, yeah. Yeah, it does remind me sort of the, the old pop guns, you know, where they shoot the gun. When you get like the signs and sort of things, confetti come out of them. I need you firing on all cylinders. We have to stop those convicts. There they are. Open up a can of whoop ass on those hoods. A can of whoop ass. So you heal as you drive as well. That was one of the perks I gained, didn't I? I'm getting a distinct impression those perks are purely designed to get around the fact that the game doesn't heal, that they haven't balanced the game properly, and that basically if you didn't heal when you drive, this game would be absolutely brutally... So one of the thirks I got was regeneration, so I'm just like driving and healing when I get to be a sergeant. Which is a really odd so yeah, there is my health bar so And the rate it heals as well. Does some incredible leaping as well. It's almost like a superhuman with some of the jumps you do from vehicles. So capture, let's heal up, get a turbo boost. 
yeah, I'm not convinced they balance the game properly with some of the perks you get. Those perks seem like... So a little story, an uh, example of a game they didn't balance properly is Sega Rally Revno. Um, and that is one of the interests. So that was, for those who don't know, Sega Rally Revno was the Sega Rally game released on the Xbox 360 and PS3. It was largely, I think, quite a bit unfinished from what I know from my industry anecdotes. Interestingly, apparently the testers were telling... Uh, the developers, when you're putting the place, when is the uh, final menu screen going in? And they're like, yeah, the current one's placeholder. Uh, we'll add it in eventually. But they never did add it in. So the actual menu you get is a placeholder one. Secondly, they said the game, apparently up until the last build, was relatively easy. Then in the very last build or two, possibly due to a bug, they made the game so incredibly hard, no one could even remotely finish it. It's not even balanced properly, so you can't win races easily. Basically, it's more luck than skill. And that was apparently done in the very last build. So, yep. That's one of those industry... Hardware hijack. There's trouble at the airport. The warlords have hijacked military hardware from a cargo plane, and they're making off with it along Interstate 77. If we let them get to the city, there'll be no stopping them. Destroy the hardware if necessary. Yeah, so the 360 Sega Rally has an interesting difficulty because they literally changed it to hard at the very last moment. In case you're wondering, I have very carefully cropped this so you aren't missing anything on the screen. I've just got it to the utmost full screen. But yeah, when we checked the aspect ratios, actually, it's incorrect. The actual PSP's default output is actually an incorrect aspect ratio. Dark... Uh, Brandish the Dark Revenant was really good to check the ratio because that all had circles. I'll chase one. Guys, what am I supposed to do here? You're shooting me. Literally, all you do is that. Don't die, or you're fired. Case failed. Take down the warlord. Search and destroy. Well, that reminds me, I need to set up a crowd playing Mortal Kombat stream for tomorrow, uh, Friday. They're in a fully armoured vehicle. I'm in a little jeep and they are taking more damage. like a boss fight. Let's restart. That's not a good run.
Looking at this, this is running at probably about 30 to 20 frames a second. It's, I definitely see some slight. It's not as smooth as some games should. Puke like you. I think that's supposed to be punk like you. I think that's a typo. down here just so I can take this vehicle out so I don't have to deal with all three at once. Come on! Eliminator! This is what I mean about literally just... You best turn tail, cop, and go home to your mama! Oh, just in time. Ah, you can actually jump vehicle in this one. Okay, that's the car's done. I didn't realise you could jump vehicle. I thought I had to stay on the bike. So, a bit weird. Some missions you can't jump vehicle. Some missions you can. So, I have 27 seconds to get to the end. And I've got a passenger just moving briskly left and right as we drive. That's quite funny. Looks like he's in a sort of ragdoll state. Definitely has the the music is definitely very action filmed. It's like dun dun. Come on, four, three. Oh, I spent too long, didn't I? You didn't get to the canal in time. Who said slow and steady wins the race? Let's try again. Turn in your badge. Take down the warlord. Search and destroy. <laughs> So I can jump into any vehicle, so let's start by getting into a car. So I'm going to just leave my bike there, driving along. Yeah, they've got slow car booster on as well. Shotgun! Okay, how am I doing for time? So, did you catch what my time was before at this point? I think I should be good. I think I've got more time now. Law breaker. Yeah, so you do damage your uh, any civilian vehicles. You do get a deduction to your law. Your law. The music is very, very good for this. It definitely feels the tension pace. 15 seconds, how are we doing? Should hit about seven, six, oh, let's do it close. Four, three, two.
Go, go, go. My puppy's army puke. Oh, we're actually on foot for change. You're gonna have to pry this hardware from our cold dead hands. Press X to sort of take them down and arrest them. Oh, so we can't get can, can arrest them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so if I run around, does that heal me? I've got to be the all action here, so I've got to rest them all. We don't want any of it, anyone in close combat being shot. Except us, who will survive despite a hail of bullets. You have to love those action films of the 80s. You guys are standing there, and we're just casually taking them all down. You're actually immune during the takedown animation as well, so... When you press R trigger to run as well, which I didn't should have done more. Good. Now grab a boat and get after that hardware. This is, stage is actually pretty good in this. It's quite good, definitely good fun. Make sure they don't get to the city. But yeah, it's a shame I can't use that PSP mode. Admittedly, the PSP, uh, the 2x upscale, was it four? It's like 487. That open source PSP mode is really good. It's just digging a grave when you should be digging a foxhole. I guess uh, I think I need to change by right there. Gotta avoid that chopper, that is just spread shredding up with those bombs it's dropping. It kills me to have to waste a good bullet on a lousy cube like you. I like how that just like flew straight through the bridge, that chopper. Yeah, it's it's the 960 it doesn't like, I know, it's the Elgato uh, HD Pro 60, so... If you're on the, uh, if you're on this H60S Plus, that's the newer version, that's one of the newer versions. I was debating whether to go for the 4K unit, but there's not really much that supports 4K at the minute, so... Okay, I am going to need to be very careful. Come on, get. Gonna jump, 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 jump. I did actually have a look at the official open source uh, wiki for the PSP, and I tried their suggested adjustments on the porch and the vertical alignment, but that it still basically said this is not a supported resolution so i think i would need to cut it down to something like 720 so civilians rammed okay enemies arrested i've seen worse
So I'd really like to be able to capture that new mode because it's really nice. But although this is probably looking slightly better. Are you the one that actually submitted them? How do you contact them, Marks? Is it on Video Games Perfection? Can I ask? Because there are a few things I'd like to contact. I saw Video Games Perfection has an official forum. Hi, Cher. No worries if you're a little late. Okay, sold. saved from the Capellis copped up some valuable info. The Don put a contract on the mayor today. His trusted lieutenant, Stefano Di Tommaso, a.k.a. Deadeye. He's the trigger man. The mayor's traveling back from a vacation in Snowstorm Peaks. I want you to tail Deadeye and his cronies. When they make their move... I uh, hope you enjoy today's stream Get share. We're looking at sight. Pursuit Force on the PlayStation Judge. Portable, released in 2005. Done by Big Ben Studio and published, well, developed by Big Ben. No, Big Big Studio was developed by. I keep calling them Big Ben, but Big Ben Interactive or a different publisher. And published by Sony. It's not a bad game, actually. Yeah, because I did mean to ask him about um, if they could add in duff lines just to make resolutions, uh, just to normalise some of the resolutions. We have basically what I described as a film-inspired ins version of Chase HQ, Pursuit Force, lots of jumping on cars. How am I supposed to catch him? He's way ahead of me at this point. You're a day late and a dollar short again. If you can't keep a simple tail, you might as well drive a cab. Turn in your badge. Dead eyes up ahead. Stay on him. Surely you, the, the criminals would notice a guy hurtling at full speed towards them. Eureka! Stay at this distance now and wait for them to play their hand. Go back fast! They'll spot you! Not at all looks like you're being tailed by a car, ramming everything in. Solution for this day is just get up close, ram into them, and then they're making their move on the mayor. Protect him at all costs. Help! Help! Ah! Get too far away from the mayor. He doesn't have bad breath, you know.
climb back up. Come on, jump, jump, jump. Cobb, you're out of your league. Stay sharp. Deadeye is a stone-cold killer. Deadeye didn't get his name for nothing. He's the best trigger man the mob has. If he gets you in his sight, say your prayers. Throw me in the can. The Don will bail me out in no time. <laughs> I gotta keep moving so he doesn't get a lock on me. That guy is quite. Yeah, Dead Eye is the uh, name of a villain from uh, Marvel. Case failed. No, just... Dead eyes up ahead. Stay on it. Ah, so we do the whole case as well. Yeah, Jameson. I think he's a character. The. J is it J Jonas Jameson? Who's Jonas Jameson? Who's the uh, head of the um, Daily Bugle? I think is the one in um, Spider-Man. Daily Planet was the one in Superman. It's the newspaper. Eureka! Stay at this distance now and wait for them to play their hands. I wasn't a big fan of Superman. I, have to know. I found the character very boring. Spider-Man, I really liked. Spider-Man was cool because uh, Superman was always. It's just a sort of a bit of a bland, like, oh yeah, he's got ever all the powers. Basically a metaphor on deity, so... Better to get on the mayor really quickly, or else otherwise you're going to lose this one. Back on the 
kámen. Rapidly tapping my PSP shoot button. Ooh. That's not why the mayor doesn't stop, he just sort of. Okay, you're getting down to half energy. I thought I was a goner for sure. The mayor will live. Now get after Dead Eye. Why do you think Ape Skate 3 was a PS3 release, by the way? Maybe planned for a PS3 release. I think the PS3 got quite heavily delayed at some stage, so... The equalizer. Dead Eye didn't get his name for nothing. He's the best trigger man the mob has. If he gets you in his sight, say your prayers. boss fight is really, really <sighs> just got me. Basically, if he sits on you for too long, you take a quarter of your damage, so it's just a drive like me. Well, I need to jump. Oh, hang on, I'm on Dead Eye. Dead Eye, so? Me, but there's a whole crew waiting to take my place. Hurry, he's making a run for it. Hurry, he's making a run for it. Yeah, well. Yeah, it's not the way you get your health back with that. Um, Yeah, it's better for me to actually crash the vehicle so it just to slow so it gets ahead just so I can heal up. Oh, getting too far away. You blew our best shot at taking down Deadeye. He'll be after me next. Turn in your badge! Yeah, that's interesting.
Force is transporting a nuclear warhead to the Renata base out in the desert. Last night, Vulture Canyon Bridge was sabotaged. It's interesting about Aqua Scale. You think the frame rates? Are I mean, it could be they were pushing the hardware to the limits, but it was a 2006 release. Yeah, that that may well have been a PS3 because the PS3 did release in. It was sort of. Um, I can't remember if it released in two. I know we had test units in 2006, and I know um, definitely released in 2007. I have a suspicion it was a bit. It may have just come out, or it was going to be released. Cover the convoy. Thanks no, I think it, it wasn't till sort of late. Yeah, it pro pro probably may well have been. Anything released 2006, they may well have been. Um, This is an interesting mission. Alpha Bravo, we've been ambushed. Ready for the warlord. Time to cowboy up, kid. I think all the Ape Escape's been really good. There wasn't actually an Ape Escape released on the PS3, was there? Strangely, uh, Sony did have a weird complex where they didn't like some games. Um, if they didn't, if they if they didn't feel a game was good enough to release on PS3, they would sometimes uh, complain about it. Because I know I worked on a game where they were complaining the whole time that the game wasn't wasn't uh, worthy of PS3, and it was true. It was a terrible game, and it was pretty much. Uh, the developer, because we want, even we wanted to release the port on the PS2, and the developer's excuse was it was too powerful for the PS2. So uh, and that was hilarious when they gave us that excuse, and the game played like a PS2 game. So. Um, Yeah, they may well have dialed it. Uh, I think quite a few games they make got dialed back. You either get late life games or either sort of ones that get PS2 are on the earlier console and get moved up. Or sometimes, like you say, they're planned for the, main, the newer console, but because things take too long to release, they can get pulled back. Yeah, they may well have planned it for the PS3. Only a move one, yeah. There hasn't been one that long. Oh, mind you, I still need to get Puppeteer on PS3. There's a few get games on move I need to grab. I need to, there's a couple of the magic book as well. I don't know if you ever saw it. There was the book for the PS3, which is quite an interesting thing, but you need a massive room to play it. But, uh, get back on the car, bud. They cross the convoy. Yeah, we're the one taking down those attacking the convoy. We're walking wounded. We can't sustain much more damage. There's actually, there's in total, I think there's four games on it. There's two Harry Potter ones. Um, there's a Walking with Dinosaurs game based on it, and there's a uh, rather wonderful Diggs Night game called Diggs Night Bee that's fantastic. There's like a storybook game. There's like this crime going on in storybook land. It's, that's by far the best game on the Magic Book. You're going down.
Yeah, there's two non-Harry Potter ones. Hi, Ava SNK boy. Thanks for joining the stream. Oh, I do literally heal up just by standing around doing nothing. So literally this game has a heal stand around to heal up. Yeah, that's, they obviously knew they had problems with this one. There were a few games that supported PS proper widescreen on PS2 later on, because that was the type of thing that they were probably getting familiar. But yeah, that that might be a hint that they were trying to develop. On. Two guys left to capture. But yeah, Diggs Nightby is it's called. Um, it's one of the storybooks. There's a Walking with Dinosaurs one as well. I need to grab them at some point actually. Because they're pretty obscure games and I can see them being rather difficult to get hold of. Yeah, there's two Harry Potter ones and you're a Harry Potter fan, aren't you, Nike? So, you've, I, I don't know if you've played them. You've probably played them and getting. But yeah, there's a, a great one called Diggs Night Bee. Which is a fantastic sort of kid's game. It's absolutely wonderful stuff. It really, it's a shame, again, that that doesn't get more recognition because it, it is a really, really well put together title. There's probably not many videos on it either because actually videoing it's a bit of a pain. If I ever get the setup to do it, it would be quite a nice experience, but I'll, I won't. I can't do it in this room. Turn over your head, cop. Oh, I physically need to take the captured deck. that bugged there Cover the convoy. and I've now got to replay the previous two sections I feel that boss could do those boss fights could do a checkpoints before them. Just gonna pause that a second there. Yeah, some of these missions are very. Um, they're okay when they're stuck to one objective. When you start having multiple things coming in. It starts getting quite a bit more complex. You can definitely see some elements that are a bit rough and ready. This one's definitely easier than the mayor assassination attempt. I mean, that actually is three. Pop that actually is four parts, that one, at least this one.
Oh, well, it's the classic old school die and go back to the beginning. I think a pro like me is well used to the me guys. You run our lives all the way back to the start of the game. All combat to get killed here. Case failed. Cover the convoy. Thanks for the assistance. Yeah, I think. Yeah, the pursuit force. Uh, a bit. Of... Oh, you probably gathered by the title of the video. Didn't remember the name. Yeah, always have the name of the game in the video, which you probably. Okay, I'll have a look at Final Fantasy Disguise tomorrow. I might need to dig up. Um, you said you wanted to see that, so I will dig that one up. Final, Final Fantasy 7, uh, the sub one. And the only thing I need to check is if there's any licensed music in it. But a lot of the uh, Final Fantasies do have licensed music as set points. I think 8-Bit wanted to see the Final Fantasy 7 prequel game, is that correct? I didn't think it wanted to see... Yeah, Crisis Core, that's the one, yeah. Yeah, I'm get... I was getting Dissidra and uh, just uh, for... confused with Crisis Core for a second. There's so many sub-games and uh, sub-spin-offs of Final Fantasy these days. And many of them aren't really that good, even the newer Final even FF15 was a bit of a train wreck, I have to admit. I do like that guy's pompous. My mother drives better than you. Yeah, your mother doesn't jump on cars and take them out. Sustain any more damage? Yeah, I know. No, friendly down. No, friendly down. On. Oh, smooth move, Einstein. You left the convoy exposed. Turn in your badge. So I don't have a direct affinity with the Final Fantasy series, but the gaming, the series has got some really big ups and downs. The modern games all have that very porcelain dull visual style, which just doesn't work. The last really good one was 12. Final Fantasy 7 is an interesting one because it's the my first RPG one, so it's hugely popular as a game because it was the first major, major Final Fantasy game to get a we to get a European release. It was also got a big Western release, but basically a big Western release. But the first one to get a European release, because up until then we never had a Final Fantasy game in Europe, because Nintendo always gave the pathetic excuse that RPGs don't sell well. When in fact it was, we don't want to translate them; that costs too much. Friendly got absolutely hammered in that assault.
And I've played through most of them, and I have to admit that it does have its ups and downs. There are some really good... Oh, there's actually a plane going in the background. I don't think Bravely Default is actually part of the Final Fantasy series, but Crystal Chronicles is. Yeah, they were all they're all pretty good. The Wii Crystal Chronicles, I take it. That was actually We've been hit bad. Is that the Wii one? That was actually very good. Uh, Final Fantasy 3 did get a European release, but it's digital only. In fact, I don't believe it got a retail release in USA or Europe. It's only digital in both. I think it's only got a retail release in... Um, I suppose any Square in XRPG... Uh, I can't believe I tried the wrong way around. Yeah, Final Fantasy 3 is only available on PlayStation Store in Europe. And same with the North American version, I believe. I think it's only available at retail in Japan. And if you want store games, this it's getting harder to actually get them because you now have to go via the PS3. A couple of them got, uh, not many actually got releases. I don't think many of the FFs did, but I want to, I might check FFM. The problem is they have now delisted some, so I'm having to check archived versions of the, of the sort of see what's still available. You can still buy stuff from the store. Because there are a couple of games I would like to get on PS1 games I would like to get on the PSP if I can do. Yeah, I'll check to see if Analogs did get out. So that did, I might pick up. This stage is really messy. I've, definitely, I've got, I think I've got all the Final Fantasy games. I've got both the Skyers. I've got Final Fantasy, so we can video most of them. I've definitely got FF1, 2, 3 digitally, 4 got special edition. I don't think 5 got released, and 6 didn't either. Yeah, they've been selling the the US store's been selling PS1 games for years now. I think they can still print them. We can't sustain much more damage. I think my favourite FF is five, but yes, yeah, six is very, 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 very good. Oh. Come on, don't lose. No, you needed those guards for protection. You're totally exposed now. Yeah, but I'm the one protecting the other. Oh, this Turn game does bed. have some irritating moments. Okay, I'll give this one last shot, and then I'm probably going to wrap Cover up. The for the I did this uh, annoying because the fact I got to the boss the first time. Okay, I need to just jump on the vehicles as soon as they appear. Um, so the, 
Some other really good Square Enix games. Uh, third birthday on PSP. Lord Arcane, I think, was a PSP one. And ta oh, uh, Tactics Battle... Tactics Ogre. Uh, let us cling together. Final Fantasy Tactics also got PSP release as well. If you want a version with additional content. And there's Kingdom Hearts Burp by Sleep if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan. These missions are definitely getting longer as we go in, so the first couple of missions were just like one thing, but these branching path ones. It does actually get a good recognition of speed, but the roads in this the stage like this are really small. So there's another plane in the flying over. That's quite nice actually, some nice scenery going around. I think for this, playing this, this is really the first time I've set. Parasite E3, How to Ruin the Series. Yeah, I know that's more like an action shooter. I quite liked it, what I played of it, but I know it's very different to the first two going. There is a lot of good Square Enix games. Yeah, I do actually need to. I will actually check what PS1 games are still are readily available because there are a few I would like to pick up before they get delisted. Okay, I know I need to jump on that car soon. Now. Basically, the reason you need to jump on the other cars is once you jump on them, they concentrate dealing with you rather than... I think we're almost there now. I never really dabbled in Final Fantasy Online. I always got. I was always annoyed by the fact that they used Final Fantasy Online on the main series rather than. Uh... No! Friendly is down! Oh, come on, I tried to jump on that car. Why can't. Why isn't that? Ah! The car's gonna take down the other escort, isn't it? Yeah, Final Fantasy, uh, it was weird that they renamed, they didn't call it Final Fantasy Online and Final Fantasy Online 2 and instead went and called it Final Fantasy 11 and 14 because that just really detracts from the whole present. That really s messed up the series numbering. They still to use the recovery ability. Okay.
<laughs> ah, so you don't, you don't like the story. Yeah. Quite often what happens with a lot of games is you get people who write stories. So basically with a lot of games like that, and probably happened with Third Birthday, is you often have large hiatuses between the games. So often the people who made the previous games aren't around. So any continuity in canon just goes out the window as you get basically what I'd describe as fans writing a sequel or people who have no real... Um, link to the series and then add their own take on it which is a big problem with a lot of games another thing some of the fan games Monst uh, monster boy which i played through recently really enjoyed that but that had a really silliness with having asher included from monster world 4 it didn't make any sense why she was there it was one of those well, why is she referenced in this plot it didn't make any sense ooh, ooh. As always, guys, if you're enjoying the stream, please do hit that like button very much. Hopefully Cher's enjoying the stream. I haven't, seen, haven't heard her say much. I don't know if she's still on in a minute. I don't know if to stay around all night. I will actually wrap this up pending how well I do. Oh, yeah, it's already gone to two hours. I need to get some video recording done tomorrow, so... Or at least try to... Oh, the Kingdom Hearts guy. Yeah, I must admit, the Kingdom Hearts story is a bit wacky in places. He's not really the best story director, and I think, yeah, when you get people to take over the story who aren't necessarily working on the original, then you get a lot of problems. I tailored after the lieutenant. He can't escape with that warhead. Right, here goes this time. I must admit, I'm not a big fan of FX10 at all, and FX10 too I wasn't that impressed with. 13 was a weird one as well, the fact that had uh, multiple sequels, but I know why that did. It's because basically they didn't make the money back on 13, so they basically needed to do sequels to get the money back for the development costs. I want to see if we can shoot down the chopper. Ah, oh, we can shoot down the chopper. But I do know a lot of people enjoy different FFs, so... This guy's much easier to keep pace with than the previous boss. Okay, I need to... That chopper is really... I need to get rid of that chopper as well. I need to keep jumping to the vehicle here. That one's brute force. Definitely one of my gripes with this is you only have, because obviously these stages are designed like uh, racetracks, you only have a set time to clear each mission before you automatically lose. I 
and that I'm not a big fan of. Oh, right, see that was the thing, I got to the end of the track there. That's really annoying. You've basically got to concentrate on him and him alone. Okay, return to HQ. I mean, no, none of the Final Fantasies, I suppose, are bad. It's just some are not quite as good as others is what I would use. They never typically keep a core. I think there hasn't really been a really poor one. Well, probably 13 and 15 have definitely been the weakest. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to wrap that up there. This That mission was annoying. The Warlords. I've done both those ones. It's either the two boss ones that are actually quite difficult. Yeah, both the boss ones are quite... So I've got either the Deadeye boss fight. Yeah, you've basically got a set time to beat the bosses. So it's, there's an element of frustrating. Yes, I don't blame you, Nyko. I'm going to wrap it up here as well. So thank you to my commentators, Nyko. Share and 8 bit boy, 8 bit SNK boy, thank you very much. I'm going to wrap this up here, guys. As always, if you enjoy the stream, please do hit that like button. Oh, seven likes, that's just quite surprising. I wasn't expecting as many likes that. Very much appreciate you guys back on stream. I will do Crisis Core tomorrow. I'll just double check if there's any content ID issues, but I will do it tomorrow. So look forward to that 8 bit. And my PSP is also flashing away as I haven't got this plugged into the main, so it's obviously going to need a charge. So I will wrap this air there then. So thank you as always for watching Randomized Gaming. I've been your host for this Randomized Gaming stream, Random Gamer Ribbon. Thank you once again, guys. It's been the PSP Sony game developed by Big Big Studios here in the UK, Pursuit Force. It's a nice little title, but a bit frustrating is the word, I think, to use. Although I think for a game on the go it's probably got plenty of uh, replayability due to the difficulty it's not a game i think they might have had concerns about the initial length so yeah i think share must have run off by now but thanks for watching guys thank you very much appreciate it. have a good night have a so have a good night all i and i wish you a good night a good evening good morning or a good afternoon wherever you are in the world i'm going to finish myself now as it's coming up to 12 o'clock midnight here in the united kingdom so i'll stay i'll see you all in tomorrow's stream and hopefully i'll dig out crisis core yep as long as i can actually find crisis core i do know i have it though because it's like one of the first games i got on the psp so i will see you then night everyone